Boys Will Be Boys is brought to you by Tylex. Removes mildew stains in minutes, wipes out soap scum too. And by Soft Scrub, the liquid cleanser that cleans powerfully without... Last week on Boys Will Be Boys. Oh, thanks a lot, Mom. You ruined a historic romantic moment. I did? Yes. You barged in here, scared Debbie away, and I'm left with a limp. <laughs> I'll fix up the room over the garage and live there. There's some booch I was thinking. We spend most of our time together, right? Yeah. So wouldn't it be great if you moved in with me? Yeah, I'd like to, but I can't. Why not? My old man, he needs me around. You know, he's still got that drinking problem. Pop, you promised me you'd stay away from the booth. Will you let go of me? <sighs> Pop, I just can't stand to see you like this. Oh, yeah? Well, nobody says you have to. Just, just take a hike. Pop, you need me. The hell I do. Just get out of my life! Chaz, you got yourself a roommate. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? What does it look like? It's a return. Hey, okay, I didn't know. It's just one of those things. Do you find out about a person when you move in with them? Hey, I understand. I understand. Now, I'm sensitive about this. So I would certainly appreciate it if you would keep this news to yourself. Sweet dreams, Chad. Your secret safe with me. Hey, I don't need this. Maybe I should just move back in with my old man. I don't think there's any maybe about it. Fine, I'm out of here. Fine, when? How about right now? That's about a half an hour. Too late, but I'll take it. Boach. Mrs. Russell, I'm out of here. We have to talk. Your landlord just called. He did? Why? Your father went out to get a paper, and he was hit by a car. What? Is he all right? I'm sorry, Booch. He's dead. And now, the conclusion of changes. Well, that was a very nice funeral service. Oh, yeah, it was nice. Sure was. Very nice. I mean, as nice goes, that's about as nice as you can get. Nice with the capital N. <laughs> and, the, and the pastor made such a nice speech. Yeah, that's because I tipped him 20 bucks. <laughs> nice. Very nice. A guy lives his whole life and only five people show up to his funeral? Yeah, just us and that guy who couldn't stop crying. Who was he anyway? My father's bartender. <laughs> if anyone's gonna miss my old man, it's gonna be him. My old man put his kids through college. Well, that was very nice of him. Man, I hate this get up. I can't breathe. Besides, I'm going through leather withdrawal. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm going through denim withdrawal. <laughs> Man, I, I, I still can't believe he's gone. And one minute he's standing right here yelling at me, holding a frozen turkey, and then the next minute he's gone. Forever. Maybe we'd all feel better if uh, we had some lunch. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Let's go, Eugene. No, I'm not really that hungry. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh, yes, I am. I'm hungry. Why, I'm major hungry. I'm so hungry I could eat stuff. <laughs> Ooh, 
Coach, I know this has got to be real painful for you. But... But believe me, every day it's going to get a little easier. Yeah, well, thanks for trying to make me feel better, Mrs. Russell. But nothing can change the facts. What facts? The fact that I knew that my father had a drinking problem. I knew he couldn't take care of himself, but I left him anyway. But, Booch, he told you to get out. He was drunk when he said it. I should have stuck with him. He needed me. What happened to your father was a fluke accident. It could have happened to anybody. You cannot blame yourself. You couldn't be there for your father every minute of every day. No, you're wrong, Mrs. Russell, because if I'd have been there, he'd still be alive today. Passing cards into the old wastebasket, huh? Yeah, I'm thinking of turning pro. <laughs> Man, you should have seen me at the park today. I couldn't miss. My outside shot, beautiful. My foul shot, perfecto. My slam dunk, whoa, people cried. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Magic Johnson was worried. <laughs> whoa, mail came. Want yours? Nah. Yeah, let me see. Uh-oh. Look what came, Booch. This month's issue of Mud Models. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold the phone. It's Miss Quicksand. <laughs> She's okay. Okay? That's all you say is okay? No, Booch. A cream cheese sandwich is okay. <laughs> this girl is... <sighs> Oh, hey, you got a letter here from an insurance company. Looks official. See, here's your name. Francis Latabucci. <laughs> hey, your father had insurance as a member of the pipe fitters union. So? Well, so there's a check enclosed. Holy, there's a check in here for you for $10,000. <laughs> See this? A check here for you for $10,000. It's only money. Only money? Yeah, but that's a lot of money. It's ten thousand dollars. <laughs> Look, Boots, don't you see? Your father cared enough about you to leave you ten grand. Yeah, well, I don't deserve it. This chick is just a reminder that my old man is gone. Look, Boots, it's been over a month, okay? Enough is enough. Look, I think it's time for a man-to-man -man talk. Yeah, well, well one short. <laughs> what? I meant me. <sighs> Look, your father's gone, and you're not going to bring it back with your impression of a couch potato. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not living. You're, you're vegetating. Hey, it's my life. Yeah, and you're throwing it away. Look, if there's one thing you should have learned by your father dying, it's that we're here one day, and then we're gone. Tell me about it. So life is short, and we got to make the most of it while we're here. It's like your favorite song, swim until you get annoying cramps. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't believe in that song anymore. Well, I'll tell you, I believe that the world needs a booch. So if you won't do it, I will. <laughs> Yo, Chaz Mataz, listen up. I say we go out and bag some babes and have ourselves a romantical tut, tut, tut. Wait a minute. I don't stand like that. I stand like this. Cool, you see? You gotta turn the collar up. All right, how's that? Terrible. Only the booch can be the booch. Know where we can find one? Huh? Huh, huh, huh? Who's the booch? I'm the booch. And what's your favorite fabric? Leather. Huh? Leather. All right. <laughs> you beg my check. You got it. 
All right, I'm gonna live my life to the max. Put it all out, right on the line. From now on, it's Maximum Boots. Look out, world, the boots is back. All right! Listen, I'm gonna go take a shower. That's the best news of all. <laughs> I don't understand, Eugene. Our school only plays football against Hollywood High once a year. So? So, they've beaten us the last seven years in a row. So? So it's a gigantic grudge match. If we're gonna pull a prank on Hollywood High, it's got to be brilliant. Hey, I know. We can put this great big sign in front of Hollywood High. It'll say, condos for sale. <laughs> Yeah! Eugene. Then the next day, all the students will show up, but there will be families living in their classrooms. Yeah! Eugene. There will be confusion, chaos, people running amok. Look, can't you think of something that isn't idiotic? No. Hey, who's that? Hey, it's Boots on a motorcycle. Yeah! Hey, guys, take a look. Boots. Hey, gents, take a gander. Wow, is this yours? What is it? It's a 750cc with 16 valves and fuel injection. Oh, I thought it was a motorcycle. Man, I'd love to have something like this, but they're so expensive. Hey, nothing's expensive. Not when you're talking to the air, the lot of Bootsy Fortune. How fast can she go? I don't know. I really haven't opened her up yet. I only hit 140. 140 is in miles per hour? Yeah, that was just in second gear. Wow. I must be doing something wrong. I can only go 16 on my skateboard. You know the trash dumps is behind the supermarket? Yeah. Well, I jumped them with two feet this bad. Oh, two whole feet, and all you risked was your life. Pooch, was that you doing wheelies down my driveway? Yeah, I was just having some fun. Well, you know, the bike comes with two wheels. You should use both of them. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm out of here. Stand back. Hey, wait a minute, Pooch. Look, Pooch, will you take it easy? If you don't, you're gonna kill yourself. Yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> Dick goes over to you. But says, sis, what's the channel of kids? I don't know. Come on, tell me what it is. Nick, 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 it was only a hockey game. It wasn't a game. It was a massacre. 18 to zip. It was all my fault. Maybe it was just a tough team. The El Segundo School of Art and Dance. <laughs> but that professional scout stopped to talk with you. He was from Poodles on Ice. <laughs> they were recasting Fifi. Well, I have to admit, you didn't play as well as you usually do. Well, you know why? It was because I was worried about Booch. Yeah. He hasn't been the same since his father died. He's taking all those crazy chances. I know. If he doesn't cool it, he's really gonna hurt himself. You really care about him, don't you? Yeah. Well, in a manly, macho kind of way. <laughs> you are manly and macho. Come here, Fifi. Chess! What is it, Eugene? I know you told me not to visit you in months that have an R in it, but... This is an emergency. What's wrong, Eugene? 
I told Mooch about the stupid idea I had to hang a banner that says Hollywood on top of that old abandoned building over by Hollywood High. You know, the one that's condemned? <laughs> so? So, he's up there right now in all this wind trying to hang a 50-foot banner. I gotta get up there. Wait, I'll go with you. Oh, you know, Booch, I'm just about the only guy he listens to. You listen to me about the banner. <laughs> to see where I might land. Hey, hold on to this. Don't move! Not moving! Booch, tell me the fire escape isn't giving way! The fire escape ain't giving way! You lied! Don't even make the slightest gesture. Gotcha. Take little breaths. I'm not breathing at all! Man, there's too much weight on this thing. Oh, why'd I have that extra piece of pie for lunch? I skipped lunch. I was facing some hell's angels. Look, you might not care whether you live or die, but right now, I'm casting a big vote for living. Yeah, well, I'm sort of leaning in that direction myself. <gasps> hey, don't move. The slightest thing could send us down. <laughs> some breadcrumbs across the street. Go for it. Okay, listen up. I'm gonna slowly reach for the window. All right, good idea. Ah! <laughs> Don't reach for the window. Don't worry, I can see what's holding this fire escape to the building. And? And it looks like a really strong nail. <laughs> a nail? Okay, listen up, I got another plan. All right, I'm open to new ideas. Okay. I'm going to slowly reach for the ladder that goes to the roof. All right, go for it. <laughs> you see this? It's shoddy workmanship like this has contributed to the downfall of the American economy. Oh, thank you, Lee Iacocca. Chad, get to the window. I can't reach. Here, hold on to me. All right, maybe that'll work. Stop! <laughs> What's taking you so long? I keep slipping on your hair. Congratulations! Oh no! 
follow my bullet bike. What's the matter with you? We almost died out there. There's no time to worry about possessions. Yeah, you're right, Chaz. Besides, I was going to give you the bike next week anyway. My bullet bike! <laughs> Booch, of all the stupid stunts to pull, how could you do such a thing? I know, I'm sorry, Mrs. Russell. I went crazy. I wasn't thinking. I guess I've been doing a lot of stupid things since my dad died. Look, I, I know it's a terrible loss, but why are you taking so many outrageous chances? I don't know. I was thinking about it on the way home from Hollywood. And? And I guess I started taking chances because I, I felt I didn't deserve to live. Booch, you got to stop punishing yourself. It's just that I felt so bad. The last time I saw my father alive, we were yelling and screaming at each other. I never got a chance to tell him how I really felt about him. Hey, I'm sure he knew that you loved him. Maybe. But I'm never going to make that mistake again. I'm going to make sure that everyone in my life knows exactly how I feel about him. Mrs. Russell... You're a dynamite lady, and I'm glad to have you in my life. Thank you, Pooch. You jazz? Yeah. You're not only my best friend, you're the best friend anybody could ever have. Hey, I feel the same way about you, too. And there's another thing. I love you, guy. I love you, too. Alcoholism is a disease that not only affects the alcoholic, it affects everyone who surrounds them. If your life is affected by someone else's drinking, you're not the only one. There are people who can help you to help yourself. Call the Alateen Hotline at 1-800-356-9996 or call the National Council on Alcoholism at 1-800-NCA-CALL. Remember, you're not the only one. You don't have to tough it out alone. Do you remember your worst date? The Jump Street guys remember theirs on a special Valentine episode of 21 Jump Street tomorrow night. And on Married with Children, will Al say, I love you to Peg? Your telephone votes will decide. Don't miss your chance to play Cupid tomorrow. Now stay tuned for Women in Prison next.